What's good? Welcome back to Hot Thoughts TV. Pico checking in. Make sure before we get started, you hit that like button. You already subbed up and you done shared this with your partners, your family, or somebody. So, if you didn't know, recently John ja Morant got caught up with his second infraction within a couple of months of where he was caught with a firearm brandishing that bitch. Many people have had a lot to say about it. One comment that stuck out to me was Steven Jackson. He posted a picture of Chris Kamen, I want to say, from years ago, which Chris Kamen is retired. If you ain't know, he, nigga, he was never a John ja Morant and never would have been a John ja Morant in his brightest days. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Wrong is wrong, but hey, if you're 23 rich and black, you did wrong. Followed by this statement. What up, world? Oh, something quick since a lot of y'all have don't have no comprehension. My brother died. I called Jai to call my little nephew because my nephew want to be just like him. Jai called him, showed him some love. I want him to be like Ja, but I don't want my little nephew to be holding guns and thinking holding guns is cool. So Ja deserves all the punishment he's, he's going to get, all that. He has to be held accountable. But we have to make it make sense. ESPN, and, and it was a couple games where the Memphis Grizzlies was coming out, and they playing these same songs, making the gun signs to the camera and marching out, getting ready to go play that game, and it was all cool. The NBA, every event, you have these same rappers rapping these same lyrics about guns and shooting at all your events. Just make it make sense. That's all I'm saying. Yes, Johnny need to be held accountable. Holding guns and all that is not cool. I don't do it, I don't stand for it, I don't, I don't su support it. But at the same time, make it make sense. I feel like it's different when you're in the crib with your guns or in the gun range with your guns versus when you're in the strip club or in a public place. I feel like we can't really compare that for one we know that the NBA is a family-friendly environment. It's not really based on rap shit. Granted, they have rappers a part of it, whether it's performances, sitting courtside at the game, or the music play, because rap is the most celebrated genre of music in today's time. So it's only right, and most of the players in the league, at least the main players in the league, is primarily dominated by black people. However, even though having a gun is not a crime, especially in a state that allows you to possess one, when you become a part of an organization as big and as powerful such as the NBA and you're getting paid, what, $200 million to play basketball, you, you lose a lot of those freedoms. And us as black people, I'm all for the culture, but we have to stop. It's 2023. If we don't own it, we have to stop screaming equality. We know it's been unequal since the beginning of time. So if we want equality or we want to do what we want to do, we have to band together and start our own league. If we're not going to be willing to do that and we're going to continue to be a part of a league that is for everyone, then we're going to have to play by their rules. We can't get in there and take these big contracts and think that we get to dictate how we want to do and what we want to do when we want to do it. You got to follow the rules of the boss paying you. And if you're not able to do so, just like any other job, they're going to make an example of you, wipe their hands with you, and shit, on to the next nigga. In regards to the Chris Kamen photos, I feel like there's a completely polar opposite situation of what's going on. You know, John Morant seen turned up in a strip club having a gun when we know that you're not allowed to have no gun up in no fucking club. That's one mistake, you know, we got them, hey man, let's take it easy, nigga turned up young, having fun. Now, after the first time, what did the people say? You fooled me once, it's a shame on you, goddamn fooled me twice, shame on me. I can't be fooled twice. If you're gonna keep trying to buck the system, then I can't stand with you. If this was an incident where I felt like they were picking on him or singling him out, I would be all for it. But again, this is not Ja Morant's first infraction. So if we're going to call a spade a spade, if those people telling you, hey man, we're going to suspend you if you do this again, or we, we expect you to hold yourself to certain standards, then that's the standards you got to hold yourself to, whether you feel it's fair or not. You got to know as a nigga in the league that it's not meant to be fair for you anyway. You're here to make money for them and make money for yourself. If you want fair, if you want it to be all about the niggas and the folks like that, hey, all of the niggas that got so much to say about it need to band together and start another league. 
or join up with Ice Cube in the Big Three and see if that's cool. The NBA stands for National Basketball Association, not the Nigga Basketball Association. So you got to keep in mind when you're receiving a $200 million contract just like any other job. At that point, you are not independent. You are not doing what you want to do. You don't call the shots. You're working for somebody. When you're working for somebody, there's a code of conduct when you get hired that you have to follow. I'm not sure what the NBA code of conduct is, but after you've been spoken on multiple occasions to by the commissioner, I'm sure that you've already had it clear as day what they expect and what they don't expect from you. From what I see, it looks like John ja Moran is bucking the system. We can't keep comparing this, oh, it's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. We already know that's the case. It's been the case forever. So if that's what we're going to continue to live by again, we're fooling ourselves and playing our, what do they say? Insanity is the definition of doing something over and over and expecting a different reaction, a different outcome. We've got to do better. Ja Morant has to do better. I don't place the blame on Ja Morant's friends or his family or his father. I place the blame on Ja Morant. He's the NBA player. He's the one familiar with the code of conduct that he should or shouldn't be following. I'm all about seeing John ja Morant doing good things. I hope he continues to prosper, but I can't stand by a nigga that know what the fuck he doing wrong and expect niggas not to look at you like you doing it wrong, my nigga. You got to clean up your actions. I agree with Steven Jackson. Whatever punishment they give him, he deserves it because he's clearly bucking the system. He's bucking the laws or whatever conversation may have been had behind closed doors. 200 million is a lot of money for a nigga to be bucking the system. Especially if you're bucking the system in the name of an artist who's not even co-signing you. You crashing out for NBA Youngboy and NBA Youngboy haven't even came out and said shout out to Ja Morant. Hey man, I'm going to put a thousand up. I'm going to put 10,000. I'm going to do anything for Ja Morant. So at this point, if his music make you that much of a fan where you ready to risk it all, then I feel like that's something that you got to take up with yourself during your suspension. Hopefully Ja Morant gets it right so he can get back to hooping, but I can't stand by a nigga doing wrong and acting like he's not doing wrong after he's already been told he's doing wrong. What are y'all comments? Comment below, like, share, and subscribe, and nigga, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. Hot Thoughts TV out.